right, in this video, you're gonna learn how to throw a 10 foot cast net, but more importantly, you're gonna learn how to fix issues as you have them, because not everybody throws a perfect cast every, every time, and in fact, most people do not. So we're gonna teach you how to know where the different parts of the nets end up, and we're gonna do so by, first of all, having a runway. We have a, a nice duct tape runway down here, uh, but the most important factor is we flag the nets. We have some different flags on the actual net, so that when we do throw it, we'll be able to see exactly where the different parts of the net end up. So at the very end, you'll be able to know, again, if you are having an issue on, on one side versus the other, top or bottom, you'll be able to know exactly where in your, in your loading of the net, the issue is occurring. So that way on your next cast, you can, uh, you can fix the proper sections instead of just having to, to guess at it. So anyhow, let's just show you how to load it real quickly, and then we're gonna, gonna cast and then analyze the actual cast at the very end. All right, so the first step before you do anything is we want to make sure there's no snags in that. Because what we have, we have this, uh, it's called a braille line. That's the, the, these, these thick lines that go from the actual swivel all the way down to the weights. Sometimes it'll, it'll, the, some other parts of the weights will get wrapped around a braille line and that'll completely ruin the cast. So we want to make sure that we get those out. So the first step, always hold it about maybe chest, chest high or so. And then just grab just a section, a small section, just slowly start pulling out uh, just pulling it one section at a time and what you need to see is two lines going out at, at once so as you can see down here this is on my side you can see there's a cluster so we want to clear that out that means that there was some some part of the braille line that was not uh, not properly set in there so we want to clear that out and then again do it over again so we we cleared out one so far it looks like we have one other one down here as you can see this wasn't coming out perfect so we just want to just lift it up and then just lift, lift those weights outside of the braille line and that'll clear it. So that should be good. We now have a clear net. All right, so next step after you just ensure there's no tangles in the net is to load up all the line in your backhand. My preference is to start with my, my, with my right and so my left hand is the, is the follow through hand, if you will. So I loop, have all the, the ropes looped in there and I have about a, a foot, foot and a half diameter size loop. Doesn't matter what size it is, it just has to be lower than, than waist level. Um, so with this 10 foot net, uh, most people prefer to grab right below the horn. Uh, I usually grab with about a foot or so section. Again, there's no perfect way, it doesn't really matter. Because the more important side is, the more important part of the, uh, the actual hold is down here uh, at, the, at the last one. So I loop it over one time, and I always want to make sure to be a little bit, uh, a little bit lower than waist level is, is my preference. Some people do right at waist level, some people do further down. To cast further, the further you want to cast, the further down you want to hold it. But uh, in general, I always do just, just barely below waist level. All right, and I mentioned before that I, I prefer to have this uh, about a foot or so between the, the horn and my, in my hand on the, on the first coil. And the reason is because I always want the, the coils of both the rope and the line to never be lower than the actual, than the actual uh, weights. So if I did have this up to, my, uh, up to the to braid, then this loop would then be really touching the weights, and I don't want that to happen. So uh, now that we, again, have the, the proper hold with our backhand, now it's time to actually load the net. So again, I've already, I've already ensured that we don't have any, any coils. So what, I'm, what I do is I split the net into two, uh, directly into half. And so the first half, I actually have, uh, you know, that'll be in my, in my right hand, in my, front, in my front hand. You might be wondering what these colors are. So the, the pink, this is the part of the net that is going to be directly away from me. Again, like it's on my belt, but directly opposite of me. And the green one, which is here on the inside towards me, this is going to be the part of the net that is right, right on my belt loop. Uh, so that the, you know, between the, the red and the green on the right side, that's going to be everything that's in my right hand. And then everything from the left of this direct line is going to be the, the net that's in my, in my left hand, in my, in my follow-up hand. That way, when we do throw it, we'll be able to see exactly where the net ends up so that if we do have issues, uh, we can be able to determine, you know, if, if it's something in our our front hand, our back hand, or somewhere in between. All right, now that the net is split in two, we can go ahead and lift it up. We're uh, ready to do the final load. And so I always put my elbow in between, in between the two sections. So this is the part that goes in my lead hand. This bottom part, the back part, is what just hangs and is uh, supported by my back hand. So at this point, I grab the, the line that's closest to me. And you have two options here. You can either put this line right in your mouth, um, just this is what most people do, it's the standard way or you can just sling it over your back shoulder and just do it do two slings. So I'll, I'll just show you quickly the, 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 the second way, the, you know, the, the, the line over your shoulder. The benefit of doing that is you just don't have all the mud and, and uh, possibly jellyfish stuff that gets in your mouth. Um, it's just a little bit cleaner. The bad part about putting it on your back is that you're gonna be completely soaked. 
after one cast, this is going to get my whole shirt would now be covered with water. Uh, but hopefully you're in, uh, in warm weather, so you don't care. So anyhow, I'll just show you just how to hold it with the uh, the net over your back. I've got one twist here. So I was just going to put it on the back and then put my my line my hand up underneath the uh, the actual uh, the actual net material and just pull it down, and that's it. And I and I, I let the line slip down, and I always put my pinky ab around the uh, the main line. And I'll explain uh, on the on the second try. So this is exactly how I hold. It. I get the two hands about ten inches apart, keep them the same height throughout the swing, and uh, and just let it rock. And so I'll, I'll actually show you. I'll go ahead and show you the the mouth in section because the, the, as far as the cast, they're the exact same. You don't do anything different. So let's go ahead and. Uh, I'll show you with the, the teeth in method, and then we'll go ahead and cast it. So again, I grab the, the line closest to me. I'm gonna put it in my teeth, in between the two. You don't want this lead to get in your mouth, so don't, don't bite onto the lead. I'm gonna put, put my mouth right on the, the rope part. Put my hand of underneath, 10 inches from my other hand. Then I'm gonna let a voice drop. I'm gonna let the lead line slide up through my fingers, and then I'm gonna put my pinky around it. It's now ready to go. So. So as far as the cast, I'm gonna keep my hands, again, about 10 inches apart. The last thing I'm gonna let go of, I'm gonna do the cast, the hands are gonna go together the entire way. And the last thing I let go is gonna be this little pinky section. Again, just a, a half second later, but that does make a difference. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and uh, show you the casting. All right, so as far as actually casting it, what you wanna do is you just wanna get just a, just a good half cast going. I always get my, my shoulder facing the target area, so just, Again, my, I want to cast down that way. I'm going to put this, the, the part in my mouth here, this is the piece that goes in my mouth. But anyhow, I'm going to, I'm going to start up high, go back, and then just, and just follow through up. So your, your final cast, you want to be going from, from down and then basically lifting up, and then your hands need to be going together at the same, the same time. I keep my hands the same height and, and get, let them go at the same uh, like velocity on both sides. So let's go ahead and just give it a, give it a whirl. All right, so now it's time to analyze the results. Uh, I just threw this cast, and as you can see, we have the runway. I'm not quite dead center. I'm a little bit over here to the, to the right, but, uh, but close enough. I'm gonna blame it on the wind, but it was really, it was really my fault. But uh, more importantly, though, we wanna just see exactly how the net ends up on the ground, or really in the water. So this, uh, this, this green section, this was the part that was, that was basically right, right at my belt clip, where it was closest to me. And then the pink one at the very far end, this was the part that was furthest away from me. So everything on this side, on um, this side of that line was in my front hand and everything on the, on the far end, this is the, the far, uh, the upper left quadrant was in my, in my back hand, in my left hand. So you can see basically I, I just threw it and everything that was closest to me, again, this, the part that was closest to me is on this ridge and everything further away is over there. So if I did have an issue, say I had an issue on this bottom, uh, bottom right section, the problem was somewhere in my leading hand, and, uh, and the opposite is true. If it, if there was if I was having trouble opening the top quadrant, that means that there was a, a snag or some sort of hang up in my in my back hand, in my left hand. So I uh, just want to let you know just how the net ends up on the on the water. Um, that way, if you are not throwing perfect pancakes every time, not perfect uh, perfect round cast, you can get a, a better idea of exactly where the issue is and, and fix it in the next cast. Hopefully, this helps. Let us know if you have any questions. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video. Congratulations, if you made it this far, that means you enjoyed the video, so please like this puppy right now. And to see the best fishing videos we've found across the internet, click this button right here, right now. And for fishing tips, click this button right over here. And last but not least, if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, click this one and you'll get our best videos every time we post them. Otherwise, fish on and high five.